Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great and today we're going to be talking about Tory Lanez and his fake dreadlocks. Now, not too long ago someone messaged me and said, hey, do a video on Tory Lanez fake dreadlocks and I looked and I couldn't even find anything. So on his Instagram, I stumbled upon a post that is obviously him with what looks like dreadlocks. Now, they're actually either two strand twists or braids, but we're gonna talk about that really quick and kind of how and why he got them or why someone actually messaged me and said, do a video on his fake dreadlocks. Now, obviously, I don't believe he ever actually took the step of getting dreadlocks, but we see now that he doesn't even have uh, the, the long hair that he had. And why did he only have it for such a short amount of time? Obviously, if he had it for such a short amount of time, he had extensions. And let's go ahead and break it down from the very beginning. He was actually balding at one point, which is not a dig on anybody because that's genetic for a lot of people. Um, some people get it just because their parents were balding at one point and then, like I said, it's genetic. So some people, that's just how it happens. And then other times, people sometimes have stress and then that causes receding hairlines or balding. There's so many things that happen with a receding hairline or balding. Now, in this case, he actually got a hair transplant, which hair transplant is taking hair follicles from the back of your head. They either do an FUE or an FUT, which an FUT is where they cut literally a strip out of the back of your head. And that's what they did on Jamie Foxx. If you guys know why Jamie Foxx has a tattoo on the back of his head, it's just because he actually is covering up a scar on the back of his head. And we see a lot of people, celebrities or not celebrities, getting hair transplants, whether it be FUT or FUE. I'm not exactly sure what they stand for, but my wife actually, um, she performs those surgeries for people. She doesn't do it full time anymore like she used to. She just does independent contracting when a doctor basically needs her. So I explained an FUT, which is basically taking a strip of your literally scalp out and then taking the hair follicles and placing them in the front. They literally like punch holes in and then they'll place the hair in. And an FUE is where they'll literally take uh, each hair follicle out at a time, whether it be ones or twos or groups, whatever the bundle is on your scalp. They'll pull them out, the follicle, not just the hair. So they'll take out the follicles and then they'll plug them in in the front where you need your hair to be fuller. That's why you see Tory Lanez with kind of almost two different, not only hair textures, but two different thicknesses of hair on his head. You see him with really thick hair in the front and then you see him with lighter hair kind of towards the back. And that's because of the hair transplant. Now I'm one of those people that are actually going to get a hair transplant. I have just a, you know, a higher part on my hairline over here. And then I'm also going to get some hair transplant over here. Um, this video is kind of just all over the place. It seems like just because we are going from why did he get fake dreadlocks to the reason behind it. So it all comes to the hair transplant. And like I said, I'm, I plan on getting one of those. So it's no shade on anybody. This is not something that is new. It's not anything that is I would say even frowned upon, even though people probably do frown upon it. I would say it's something that a lot of people struggle with. If you want to look good, if you want to have a nice hairline, if you want to have your hair, then it's really smart to actually do this. Of course, it's costly. To the person, it's worth it. You know, it's it's their hair. And hair is one of those things that you only have literally once, or it's only your hair, you know what I'm saying? So now we're going to get off the subject of actually the whole hair transplant, because we know that that took place. With that being said, I'm sure he felt more comfortable to actually do uh, hair extensions to actually do braids or anything else like that. We've seen this with so many people. We've seen it with Fetty Wap, we've seen it with Smoke Perp, we've seen it with Lil Pump to where they actually add extensions into their hair in order to get dreadlocks. Or in this case, braids or two strand twists or whatever hairstyle you wanted to do. And they ended up cutting it because I feel like he started getting a lot of hate for it, which kind of sucks because he just did something really big for himself to where he actually got a hair transplant to where um, his hair looks good. I think it looks really good. I think hair transplants make a lot of people's hairline just look natural and good for themselves. It makes them look younger and all kinds of things. But I'm sure he felt comfortable to actually, you know, get the braids and everything like that. And then a lot of people hated on him for it, which is crazy. Yeah, he did get a hair transplant. Next step was installing the fake hair and then getting the braids or the dreads or the twists, whatever you want to call them. That is exactly what happened. And that is a breakdown of how he actually made it happen. Hopefully my explanation of an FUE or a hair transplant in general helped out with explaining why he did it. And I can tell you now, there's so many people out there who have hair transplants, but th that you don't even know about that actually have them. A lot of this stuff is held under secret. I know some people personally that have done famous celebrities hair transplants and I know them by name and I know these people haven't released that they actually got a hair transplant but nobody even calls them out on it because it just seems so natural and I think it's fine I think it's completely 
100% okay to not even tell anybody because it's one of those insecurities of people. I mean, the things can just go on and on and on with this whole entire video of me explaining what, what happened and I can't really explain how he felt or anything like that, but I can say that he got a hair transplant, got the extensions, added in the braids or the twists. That's what happened. That's how he got to where his hair was now. So he ended up cutting it, like I said, but he does have a fresh lineup and it, his hair just looks really good now. And it's, it's just overall really nice. But like I said, guys, so many people have done this before. I've listed off a few earlier. It's just to where they feel comfortable with their hair. And I think if someone feel com I think if someone feels comfortable with themselves and their hair, and that's how they want to be presented, then you gotta just kind of receive them however they want to be presented. But you guys, that was another video. I wanted to keep this one kind of short because I just wanted to explain really quick how he got his hair to where it was and why it was just like, whoa, his hair was there and then it was gone. That's really what happened. And yo, seeing him with his hair transplant makes me more excited to get mine. And the reason I haven't got mine yet is because the place I'm actually going to get my hair transplant done, which is where one of the places Candace contracts out of, they're literally just like booked. He showed me all the people that are uh, needing hair transplants and they actually just started doing surgeries again because of the whole COVID-19 thing. They barely got back into the office. I'm just waiting to hear back from them. So that's gonna be really cool to be able to document that as well. And then I'll, I'll be able to show you guys not only on this channel, but mostly on the main channel which is going to the great. If you're not already subscribed to that, go subscribe. But guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully that shed some light or some information on uh, basically everything that happened with him and hopefully some other people as well. I'm sure this is news to a lot of you guys, but a lot of people get hair transplants. It's a normal thing. But like I said, it is kind of costly for most people. For me, I don't think there's a cost that goes with you know, the way you present yourself and how you look. I don't think you can spend too much, really. There's so many things that can go on with that as well. Like, you know, when people get plastic surgery or all these other things, there's people that just really wanna get it and there's not a cost associated with it to where it affects them. And it's really just up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.